Here are the stories making news at this hour. I'm Marissa Bailey. It's the largest capital investment in the Chicago public schools in nearly two decades. Mike Puccinelli breaks down the city's plan to invest up to a billion dollars in system wide improvements. And that news conference just wrapped up in the last couple of minutes. Now more than two dozen schools will receive upgrades as part of this three billion dollar budget. We're talking about athletic facility upgrades. Now the mayor also says one third of that amount or close to a billion dollars will go to capital improvements at new schools and annexes and existing schools. Other money will be spent to expand access to full day pre-K to an additional 3,700 students. 5,000 more students will gain access to classical and magnet programs and international baccalaureate and science and technology, engineering and math curricula. A four year $125 million plan to upgrade digital technology and security improvements at 50 schools are also included in the three billion dollar budget. Now the mayor stopped by Cardenas Elementary to check out the computer lab as some of the children took time out from their summer breaks to spend time behind keyboards. Cardenas received part of a 50 million dollar technological upgrade. The woman in charge of the nation's third largest school district summed up what she thinks the infusion of cash will mean for the district's more than 600 schools. This is the largest investment in recent history or even in, in, in my memory um, as a lifelong Chicagoan. And I'm really excited about the opportunity to not only create more spaces, um, more schools, annexes, but also to revitalize our aging infrastructure. This is making an unprecedented investment in the ability to, for us as a city to finally achieve universal full day free pre-K for every four year old in the city of Chicago. And the mayor says that is one of his top educational priorities. Now, a spokesperson for the Chicago Teachers Union released a statement saying, in part, that unless the city addresses the thousands of complaints that have been made by students, parents, and residents over the past seven years, then in their view, this all just amounts to another election year stunt by the Emanuel administration. And meteorologist Megan Glaros has a look at your beautiful forecast. Hey, everybody, it is the weekend, or almost the weekend, <laughs> depending on when you're watching this. Here's the good news. Anyway, you slice it, we've got beautiful weather in effect. 76 degrees, the high temperature on this Friday. 81 Saturday, 86 on Sunday. Pure sunshine each day, expecting to find low humidity levels, much more comfortable temperatures, and essentially no rain. So this is about as good as it gets. We're going to be at 90 degrees on Monday, mostly sunny there too. And then we do expect to see a little more humidity building in next week. So enjoy the weekend. It's absolutely lovely. Just stay out of the Lake Michigan water, the Lake Michigan beaches today, because we do have a high risk of rip currents and some pretty good waves out there. So it will be dangerous in the water. Otherwise, enjoy the beautiful Friday and the great weekend, guys. See ya.